Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, or Blender, just basic Blender stuff, okay? Uh, normally, when we model, we like quads. That means it's a polygon made up of four vertices, right? That's the proper way to model. Uh, to always have quads you don't like triangles okay or the sim doesn't like triangles or um, rendering in blender it doesn't like triangles okay uh, you get flickering you get weird things happen when you start texturing with triangles right we all know that uh, for you guys that are basic in learning blender all right you want to try to um, avoid having any triangles in your models okay that's called bad topology however you can use triangles okay uh, nothing says that it's going to explode if you don't if you if you don't have quads in every single area of your model sometimes you want triangles right but you can turn you can turn triangles into quads uh, believe it or not but anyway what I'm going to show you is a simple tool uh, most of you by now know how to do loop cuts okay and if you ever try to loop cut a cone and it doesn't work or you try to loop cut a triangle and it doesn't work well you can loop cut a three-sided object okay and that's what I'm going to show you here so let's get started so over here on the right side I just have a simple triangle that I made by uh, adding vertices and extruding and just creating a three-sided object okay a triangle all right so let's tab into edit mode and let's um, go over here and do edge select and I don't have my screencast on so we'll get that turned on really quick and I want to come down here screencast let's turn that on so you can see what I'm pushing all right there we go all right so I'm in edit mode I'm going to select all the edges okay and I'm gonna hit face to add a face to it all right now I want to subdivide this triangle I want I want to subdivide it in this direction all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm edge select. I'm going to select these two edges and I'm going to simply right click and subdivide. <clears throat> and now I have a, I have created a loop cut <laughs> in an essence. I've subdivided this face along between these two edges, right? Okay, now to move it to where you want, <clears throat> edge, make sure you're on edge select select that edge and double tap the G and you can slide that down where you want it okay now <clears throat> the regular loop cut is if you were doing a control R to loop cut you hit the scroll wheel on your mouse and you can add loop cuts by using the scroll wheel right well you can't do that with a triangle okay that's the one caveat of the triangle but let's say I wanted another loop cut on this side <clears throat> I wanted two loop cuts okay well you would have to select these edges again right click subdivide and it adds that second one in and then you select that double tap G and then you can slide that down to where you want that second slice right okay easy enough all right, so yes, you can you can subdivide a triangle. Now let's talk about the traditional loop cut where you have a three-dimensional object and you want to slice it all the way around, right? So let's turn to a code, the uh, cone. Let's tab out and let's select this cone and tab back into edit mode. All right, so we have this cone. And I want to subdivide this. I want to put a loop cut down the middle here. Okay, and maybe move it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this bottom edge loop of a cone. Because a cone already has one edge loop. Okay. And I'm going to hit the control key. 
I mean the alt key and I'm going to click on one of those segments so now I have a loop select all right now I'm going to control I to invert my selection so now I have all the edges that make up my cone with the exception of the bottom right and then just like this triangle right click subdivide and it puts a loop cut on our cone all the way around all right but again how do we move that like we did with the triangle you're going to hold the alt key select the loop cut that you want and double tap the g and then you can slide it down to where you want now what happens if you want remember you can't use the scroll wheel to add loop cuts with triangles so if i wanted to add another loop cut i would have to come over here to um, turn on my x-ray mode up here and i'm going to select all those edges going around okay and then i'm going to simply right click subdivide and i have a another loop cut and then we can alt select that loop cut double tap the g move it down to where you want it and then you have another set of loop cuts okay so just a small thing if you're if you have some triangles in your model that you want to subdivide you can do that okay um i do actually want to show you one more thing so i am going to remember i said it was in it's it's it for triangles uh with the exception of the cone okay just a three-sided object let's tilde t let's go to a top view and um let's tab out of edit mode and we are going to shift to a we're going to add a mesh single vert okay which my vertices right there my 3d cursor but i want to g y i want to move that i want whoops i didn't select it let's try this again uh g y oh wait a minute that's why g y let's try this one more time <laughs> i'm screwing it up all right uh let's 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 tap let's do this all right try this one more time all right so i'm going to shift a mesh single vert add single vert so i have a single vert there and i'm going to turn on my vertices select that's why i was having issues all right and we're going to select this vertice we're going to move it down with g in the y direction g y so it's down here now okay now i want to make a triangle it doesn't have to be perfect but i'm i have this vertice selected i'm going to hit e to extrude it extrude it in the y direction by hitting the y and we're going to come up here and then i'm going to extrude that again and i'm just going to come down here and make another copy of my triangle up here but to finish this, I'm going to select these two and hit F to fill. All right. Then I'm going to go to Edge, select these, and fill. I could have selected the three vertices and filled it, but it's better to fill with edges than vertices. <clears throat> now, remember, up here, we subdivided it in this direction. Okay. How about in going in the Y direction? Well, remember whatever two lines that you select it's going to subdivide between those two okay so now instead of selecting this edge and this edge for this triangle i selected this edge and this edge okay and if i hit right mouse button subdivide now it goes down in this direction okay so it really depends on which direction you want to subdivide it which edges to select okay so that is subdividing a triangle okay i uh, hope you guys uh, get something out of this please subscribe and if you're uh, inclined please support me by buymeacoffee.com slash my physical world 
and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.